Go. What's going on guys? We are here with Bree <laughs> and we are going to demonstrate uh, the hip thrust. I'm going to give you guys a hip thrust hack and show you a cue that I use with a lot of my clients that helps them get the most out of this lift and I feel it's one uh, technical tip that can really change uh, the amount of glute activation that you do get when performing the hip thrust. So traditionally when people perform this movement they're going to set up as Bree is now and they're just going to thrust their hips into the bar really really hard and what that's doing is go breathe go for it not necessarily a bad thing but what happens is they lose tension and control of their pelvis so as they make contact with the bar they go from a neutral spine into hyperextension and they have lordosis here and the erectors do a little more work than the glutes so a tip I like to use when performing the hip thrust is to first make contact with the bar. That is contact and then squeeze through. So again, so you'll notice Brie will almost perform it in two steps. Contact and then squeeze through. And again, you can perform constant tension uh, hip thrust and that's where you really feel your glutes because you're not uh, using your erectors or losing control of your pelvis. Um, but if you're performing them from a dead stop, like Brie is here, you want to get contact first, so finding the glutes and then squeezing the glutes through. So guys, that's my little tip or hack for the hip thrust. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you check out Brie as she makes all them gains and peach gains in the off season. I'll speak to you all next time.